Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to visit a uh, subject that I've been on quite a roll with. Yes, it's a pen I recently uh, bought on eBay from a Chinese supplier, Chinese seller. And the pen just looked good when I saw it. It looked a little different. So um, <clears throat> I purchased it. Here's the auction that I purchased it uh, on. And as you can see, the price. So when I went back to do my research, uh, I got the pen a few weeks ago. I found out that the pen uh, seller had relisted it. When I looked at the relisting, the price had dropped substantially. And I said, that's interesting. And this is a seller that I've bought a number of pens from, and I've been very happy with them. The communications has been great. Uh, the shipping has been fast. So I was surprised. And I did some more research on the pen and found out that the price has dropped even lower. So I'm amazed that a pen like this uh, started out at a on the high side for a Chinese pen, then went to the medium price, and now is at the low end. And to me, at the current price of this pen, I think it's an excellent deal. So I always look at what's different from this model that was not in other models. So if you look at the if you look at the finial on the top of the cap, you'll notice that Wing Sung logo but you also notice a little registration mark next to it which I think is interesting so that wasn't on the earlier ones so they probably now have gone through a registration process yeah it's an interesting color here at the top which has a corresponding color to bottom so that's kind of similar to what we've seen in at Cali Art um, you know it's an interestingly designed clip nice and sturdy nice and functional you know, your dual bands here at the, at the top one here that's part of the clip assembly and then another one and then you have a, a gold ring at the bottom here but what's interesting about this pen is it's a pull-off cap and as we look at this ring at the bottom of the cap it's mostly on the inside of the cap which is interesting I mean it, it it's obviously going to protect it against any type of cracking or whatever, but what I found the first thing amazed about is when you post this pen, it feels like it's a magnetic closure. I mean, I can't imagine that to be the case for this price, but it certainly feels secure. You know, you have a nice uh, cap liner there um, that hopefully keeps it from drawing out. You have that transparent pilot design feed with that pilot nib with that wings in it. So obviously this nib can be easily replaced. Now it is an extra fine, so it's uh, 0.38, which is not my favorite nib, but we're going to not swap it out. I've kind of exhausted my supply of uh, pilot nibs to put into these pens, so we're going to keep this as is. Is your standard um, converter? Yeah, again, it'd be interesting if this was made uh, clear instead of black, because that would have uh, made the whole assembly uh, a little bit nicer. But you know, I'm certain for the current price of this pen, that's fine. Uh, the plastic has a good feel to it. I don't know whether I would eyedropper this. Um, I'd have to look at it because that uh, the end is obviously pieced together from different parts but I have a lot of eyedroppers so there's no reason to eyedropper it so overall uh, you know it'd be nice if I had got this pen at the original at the current price but I'm happy that I got it I'm happy to share with uh, my viewers I've been very happy with the comments I've been getting I appreciate all the positive feedback and insightful comments uh, concerning you know the whole nature of, of pens and videos and, and sharing on YouTube and I do enjoy doing this I enjoy sharing uh, I think it's one of the things that, that brings joy to uh, at least uh, my experiences 
So let's uh, put this in comparison with some other recent uh, Chinese pens and then we'll ink it up. I have to figure out what kind of ink I want to put in here and uh, put nib to paper. 2003, the uh, subject of this video. Then we have the Jinhao 991, which is less than a dollar pen. We move up the ladder to the uh, Jinhao 992, which is the dollar fifty pen. And then I've also have the Wing Song or Yongsan 9130, which I which I did a review on, which I think is good to put into this group. So all of these are cartridge converters. Um, this is a dollar pen, and I think that it it is a dollar pen. This is a dollar fifty pen, which writes like a ten dollar pen. This is a six dollar to ten dollar pen, which writes to me like a and design wise is like a three or four dollar pen. And then we have your two dollar pen, which I would put in the ten to fifteen dollar range if this was a pen that was sold by a uh, standard uh, manufacturer and distribution channels. All of these are medium to small medium size pens. Um, they're, you know, to me the 992 is the most classic, you know, that's your your Sailor Pro color design, you know, your your classic cigar shaped. The 991 is, is a little bit more funky design, you know, that clip is, you know, a pretty relatively flimsy clip, but you know, it's still interesting. Pull off cap, unscrew cap, and the two on the ends are pull-off caps. The other thing I wanted to just uh, show examples the logo and uh, again that registration mark that shows up on the 3003. Again I just find that the way that clip comes on and off is interesting. The other thing is you know this has a a white liner in the top of the cap which is certainly not as aesthetically pleasing as that uh, semi-clear liner in uh, 3003. Yeah the little diamond design on the clip and the clip you know is a little bit more interesting. When you get down to the section that's where the the difference is. This is a more kind of like um, a Lamy Safari design with uh, you know, the uh, indents on the side for the finger positioning. It also is a very long section. Uh, both of these, uh, this is your more traditional section. You know, it's nice with the little metal at the end here, which is very common with uh, a lot of pens. And when you're writing with it, you get to feel that at the end. Obviously, I've replaced the nib in the 9130 with uh, the pilot nib which is uh, which I could also replace that nib in the 3003 with a pilot nib or any other uh, you know nib from that pilot wing design. Yeah I think this end here which just comes in many different colors is a more of visual appeal than the way this metal end is at the end of the 9130. For a second set of comparisons we have the pen that I think started the whole piston fill transparent Chinese uh, phenomenon, uh, the 698. Then we have the Caliart Ego 2 which has colored ends on it. The first version came with clear and I love the the way the piston has those two uh, red O-rings in it. And then we have the Nemoseem Singularity which I think holds its own among these pens but obviously at a different price point but I think you know, from the distribution channel, from buying from, you know, a local retailer, the Nemocene uh, does have an advantage. And also it comes with a variety of nibs, and nibs are easy to swap in and out, where these other pens are not going to be as easy to, to do that with. Uh, also, this is a very smooth nib, good flow. You know, I've been very happy with uh, my Nemocenes that I have. I have a few of them. And the color and the design and the transparency also holds its own amongst these other pens. The 3003 is slightly smaller than the other ones, but you know, after writing and using it for a while, you're not going to notice that size difference. For the writing sample, I just find these clear 
feeds and sections just look great. And that ink, I think, is the perfect color for this pen. You know, I'm not going to put pink in here. That kind of comes across as a pink color and probably not would have been the color I would have chosen if I had a choice or the photos were better. I decided that I'm going to go for an ink that I haven't really talked about in, enough is Habanero. I certainly do enjoy Mexican cuisine and in uh, my area I'm fortunate to have a lot of nice restaurants. So this is a pen that works fine posted, post securely. It also fits okay in the hand unposted. Doesn't really change the weight, the balance or whatever. So in that case I would generally post these types of pens. You know with the metal band you're not going to have any cracking issues and this type of plastic doesn't seem to scratch or mar or things like that so I'm not worried about anything developing from posting as far as the aesthetics go. So this nib is performing better than I've expected and better than I've gotten from other extra fine nibs, but it was smooth, which did a lot. Don't worry about that. I'm writing over the camera and I'm actually beginning to learn how to look through the, the view screen and, and write and, you know, have that work for me. So this is an okay writer and it does actually lay down a decent patch of ink for an extra fine. That's a nice thing to be able to do. Yeah, it's an interesting color. I like it. Kind of in the you know Apache Sunset type of uh, family with a little bit more of a red in it and less of a sheen but there is some yellow. Here's the chromatography, which shows uh, a lot of that yellow and, and not a lot of the, of the red. The red's kind of interspersed in there. I've kind of gotten to enjoy chromatography, and so now I'm doing it with uh, all the inks that I, that I get and, and I try. I've yet to really relate this to the actual writing experience, but it's interesting in its own right. So we're getting near the end of the video. So the nib actually, they may refer to this as a soft nib, as you can see it. You put a little bit of pressure on it, it lays down some ink. But it certainly is not in the flex family. But all in all, I'm going to leave this nib in there. I mean, it works well with this ink. It's always good to have a, a nice red ink to, to work with. So for me, for close to $2, this is a great buy. I think this pen is probably as good, if not better, than the 992 as far as a pen to give away as a starter pen. You know, aesthetically, it's just very interesting. Construction-wise, it's made very well. All the parts fit together well. There's no uh, rough edges or anything else. I like uh, a lot of the metal details. It has a good weight to it, unlike some of the other uh, less expensive pens that, that I compared it to. So overall, I'm again very happy. I mean, they're, they're doing well and, and I enjoy having these pens to write with in my collection and also to share with, with others. So thank you for watching. Excuse my spelling. I also wanted to do this video now where we got some sunlight before the clouds come in from the hurricane off the east coast of America. But thankfully we shouldn't get more than just a little bit of wind and rain. Um, my uh, prayers and... and Everything go out to all the people who have been affected by these storms and um, hopefully you can recover.
and enjoy life. So that's the real key to everything that we do. Enjoy life. Hopefully your inks, pens, and paper help you do that. So be safe. Till later. Bye.